Hi everyone. This movie I'm gonna be talking about today is called Last Call for Istanbul. Ryan meets Samantha at the New York airport as she is standing in the queue to collect her baggage. When she receives the bag, she realizes that it has been interchanged with someone else's. Ryan comes to her rescue and advises her to open the bag, where she finds the name and phone number of the man to whom the suitcase belongs. When she calls the number, she was told that the address is in Chinatown. Ryan tells Samantha that he is also headed to Chinatown and that he will drop her. When they reach the place, they are told that the man is staying at the Marshall City Hotel. Samantha and Ryan head off to the hotel and are told that the man will not arrive before the next day. They decide to stay the night there and wait for the man. Ryan is seen to be almost instantly bedazzled by Samantha when he meets her for the first time and tries striking off conversations with her. Ryan asks Samantha to join him at the rooftop bar later, and she initially refuses, stating that she is married and does not want to be involved with a stranger. Ryan also tells her that he is married and would never cheat on his wife. Later, Samantha joined him at the bar for a drink, and they start talking about the way people get bored after marriage and look for ways out. Samantha asks Ryan if he has ever cheated on his wife, and he denies, saying that he is not the kind of man to do that. Later, they head off together to explore New York City. While on a bus, an artist notices them and drew them a picture. While Ryan is busy dipping him before getting off the bus, Samantha gets down, and the bus takes off. Samantha is heckled on the road by a group of prostitutes and a pimp. Ryan, however, manages to come back at the right time and rescues her. He then asks her to never let go of his hand. The incident does not keep them from enjoying their night as they drink away all their stress and sorrows. They later end up getting physically intimate with one another. While we are questioning the moralities of both married individuals, the plot takes a sharp turn. Ryan and Samantha getting calls from their respective divorce lawyers reminding them of their advancing divorce dates. The confusion is cleared up when there is a glimpse of Samantha's phone wallpaper of her and Ryan together. Ryan and Samantha are revealed to be Mehmet and Sarin, who were a real-life married couple on the brink of divorce. They had come to New York to rejuvenate their relationship and give each other a last chance. Sarin and Mehmet was attracted to each other and got married. They had met 10 years ago, and the moment Mehmet saw her, he knew that they had a spark and he did not have to look elsewhere. Sarin had given up on her dreams of having a career in New York and lived in Istanbul with Mehmet. He had also given up on his dreams of running his own band and taken up a job after they got married. They had both made their fair share of sacrifices and remodeled their lives around each other. However, a few years down the line, they started losing the spark and regretting their decisions. That is when a wedge was drawn in their relationship. Saren started regretting her decision to leave behind her career as a fashion designer just to be with Mehmet. She started becoming very irritated about not having any luck with her work in Istanbul. She started applying for jobs in New York without letting Mehmet know any of it. She feared that he would stop her from pursuing her dreams. However, Mehmet found out about the job applications and did not tell her anything about them. He waited for her to tell him herself about it. They started fighting over petty issues, and all their conversations started ending in arguments and disagreements. The last nail in the coffin was hit when Saren found out that Mehmet had been secretly talking to another woman. She asked for explanations about it from him, and he denied having cheated on her. Saren didn't want to be in the relationship anymore, given the fact that they are falling out of love, so she decided to file for divorce and then move out to New York. Before their divorce, they visit a marriage counselor, who confronts them about their own mistakes. She advises them to give some time to each other, go on a trip together, and act as if they had met for the first time, as it would give their relationship a fresh start. That is when the couple goes on a trip together and revives their old spark. When Mehmet asks Saren if she loves the man that she has met in New York, she says that she has found the old Mehmet in him. Despite the spark that they felt, Saren decided that she would pursue her career and let go of the burden of a marriage that she couldn't bear any longer. Saren manages to bag the dream job that she has always dreamed of. On the other hand, Mehmet is dejected and decides to leave New York back to Istanbul, but before he left, he leaves a letter for her saying that he has booked a return ticket for Saren and that she is welcome to join him anytime she wants. He had poured his heart out in the letter about him being in love with her and apologized for the way their relationship had turned out, despite all their differences. When Saren read the letter, her love for Mehmet sparks again. She didn't want to lose the love of her life, so she quit her new-found dream job and chase after him to the airport. 
The flight to Istanbul had almost departed when Saren arrived at the airport. She pleads with the airport authorities to let her board the flight, and Mehmet couldn't leave without the love of his life, too, while he was returning from the flight gate to get his wife. They met and eventually reunited, with happiness of their new found love. They both returned back to Istanbul together. I believe this is the happy ending we all wished for. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.